Um, now I wanted to get into Krishan Rock's girl Jay, you know, and you know, I don't know how long Marsh is gonna hang in there. I sometimes think that when people start to see it's getting hot in the kitchen, you know, they downplay a lot of stuff that they see, you know, people that they look up to, like in Krishan Rock's case, they look up to her, you know, and they start to see things, you know unraveling and people that you know held everything together which was blue face on his end Krishan on her end and then it goes downhill people start to like dodge everybody gets out of dodge you know people want to now live their best life but when it when it was good and Krishan was around and she was probably spending the money you know everybody was cool now, I know y'all seen uh, Papa Blue with his flip-flopping behind, showing that he cleaned up the house and that he's here to do the job that he promised his son while he did a sentence. Now, it sounds like to me like he's talking about the um, present time and him knowing that his son might also face further sen sentencing um, further jail time because of the allegations of that rumor about it being meth being found in his room. People saying that he got set up for the meth. I don't really see a lot of channels talking about it because I think that when you get too far into those kind of allegations, um, you know, and, you know, you find out what the truth is because it always comes to the light. People don't want to have to um, have people coming after them. I don't care. You know, uh, WAC 100 spoke on it. There's been quite a few times I have shared the video it coming out of his mouth that he's been fighting this case for three months. So pretty much, like I said, again, a lot of channel holders are not covering that Blueface is, was on the hush-hush hush, hush until Donat, allegedly, this is what WAC 100 has said when he was explaining the situation with Blueface that he's been fighting in court. For the last three months, um, he said that the only way people got that information of it being meth being found in the room was from Donat stirring up mess. And I'm just saying from what Wax said, it didn't come from my mouth. It came from Wax 100's mouth, disclaimer, and also um, people seeing it on World Star. So he had to clean it up, even though Wax was probably not going to speak on it. But because it was mentioned publicly by Donat initially and then Worldstar, I don't know who, who put out the information first, but those two entities, he had no other choice but to um, bring up the situation that had happened. Um, but it's just kind of weird, you know, how people are taking the opposite side, the op side. We got the Zoe um, sticking up now for Jaden, you know, almost like. You know, they don't want to be guilty by association no more, Krishan Rock or Blueface. Then um, Krishan Rock's friend, the uh, ch Spanish chick, J-Lo chick, uh, that, what do they call her, J? Um, she's with k Swa's brother, and they, they live together now, and she's not living in that house that Krishan Rock has uh, rented out for a whole year. Um, they allegedly are saying that Marsh was living at Blueface's house with Krishan Rock. I don't know how true that is, but at this time I heard allegedly Marsh is in a hotel. Now, if there's any truth to that, you know, it, you know, Krishan Rock has to really settle herself down, sit down, gather herself and think about what she's going to do when she gets out, hopefully tomorrow. Because if your son is in a hotel with Marsh and her child um, and she's no longer in that house, which I believe that she's still at the house that Krishan pays for. But you know how people like to run uh, rumors. When things get boring, you'll get even a viewer that will plant a seed in the comment section of a video. People will read it and they'll run with it because they want to live in the lie because the lie goes on and on and on. The truth ceases and desists. And people don't want to hear the truth because they want this to be a reality show, which it is a reality show. But it's real life. They don't have to really add too much to the equation because it's really happening in real life. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to share um, some information today from Hennessy Views channel. She gave us a, a lot of insight, and I was going to do it last night. However, I didn't do it because of the simple fact that I was tired, and I knew that it was going to take time for the whole breakdown. But um, it might let you look at things in a, a, a different light. Uh, hearing what Hennessy Review has to say. So we're going to uh, break this down now. So I'm going to uh, share the screen. So hold on one second. Okay, let's begin this beautiful bean footage. Make sure as you guys come into the live chat that you hit the like or dislike button. I'm going to try to keep it short with my with my run in my mouth. Even though this is a commentary video, of course, I'm going to still talk through it because it's a commentary video. And there's a lot of points that she brings up that uh, I want to share my thoughts on. Um, but however, at the same time, I want you guys to also be able to absorb the information and I don't want to I don't want to get into too much chatty padding but I will be stopping and start starting the video but I want you guys to really um digest this I want you to read what you can see on the screen alongside with hear what uh Hennessy review is saying because nobody's reporting this this information like she's reporting it and up at the top of the description is her link to go subscribe to her channel. Please give her her flowers. She puts in the work. And, you know, she'd be working a set. So we got to, you know, give, pay homage into that. Also, it is by default at the bottom with all the other people that are subscribed to my channel. Her link's always by default. Even if I'm not doing a video using her content, sharing it with my community, she's always by default. Her channel is in the description box of my all my videos by default but when i'm doing a commentary video using her her content like right now you'll see it up at the top i will provide that link up at the top of the description so it's easier for you to find it and you can go subscribe to the channel and i want to say good morning to jackie and good morning to miss d real so let's start this because this is going to be a long live here so we're going to start this right now so we can uh, break it all the way down. Now, today I decided to do something different because people are very much confused about what is going on with all of Krishan's cases. So I have gone ahead and I have pulled her civil cases and her criminal cases, and we will be looking at them to date. OK, um, we're going to go through them. So this is going to be a pretty this might be a little longer than an hour. It's to me a little sad that she has to go all the way to a breakdown to this point up until now, like from the beginning to the middle to the end, so people can understand how serious things are um, and, and how some things are not. Because people are running with false narratives because they want to keep this going for as long as they can. And I, I really think that people really know the answers to how this is going to end, but they don't want it to end. So they add to the equation to keep the story. Now this is a storyline. It's not even a storyline with Chris Sean Rock and Blueface. They're locked up. We can't say that they're running storylines now, right? Now it's storylines of the viewers, haters, maybe some of the fans, or obsessed fans, which are unhealthy fans that are running with narratives to keep this you know, alive, this negativity alive, um, you know, and, and it's, it's entertainment when it's entertainment, but when people's freedoms are being taken and compromised and kids are being affected, there's nothing entertaining about that. So right now there's really nothing to be entertained about. It's just people, if you're concerned, you know, as a, a, a human, as, as an individual, you know, you just want to know what's going on. You know, instead of being part of the problem, you need to be part of the solution. 
We got to start holding people accountable of their actions. If we put batteries in these young youth backs, you know, that are up here, social media influencers becoming millionaires so early on in their life, they will continue to live recklessly. Even though they know better, sometimes when we know better, we do better. Sometimes they don't because, you know, you know, kids are like sponges. And sometimes this is, we only sometimes portray who we are through what we saw growing up. And you might not see nothing wrong sometimes with dysfunction. There's a lot of dysfunction going on with this couple, with this whole love triangle with Jaden, Blueface, uh, Christian Rock, and the whole circus. Even the 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 real adults, the, the older adults, uh, Papa Blue, Carlissa, they're no no one to look at um to to then no one to look up to is what i'm trying to say let me just spill it out you know they they they're worse than the um the youth which is christian rock and blueface you know those are the examples that they have to um they they they're following behind and you wonder why this is a train wreck is it's sad hour i don't really want to rush the information i want you guys to get the information and understand it also we're going to compare the documents from february 23rd and february 28th when oklahoma put out these violations of probation on Krishan. I'm also going to let you know what the DA and the arresting agency has been up to as of yesterday, because I will tell you there was a lot of movement that was going on in that case file. Now, um, her status has not changed when it comes down to the LA Sheriff's Office. It is still showing on that website that she still has the Oklahoma hold on her. Um, in the Oklahoma caseload, it is still showing that the warrant is still there. So I just, we're going to go through this and we're going to get an understanding because there's also some confusion as to how many warrants Krishan actually has. And I'm going to tell you right now, she does not have all of the warrants that are being alleged in these internet streets. I will let you know how many she does have. But first, I want to take a moment to shout out all of the Henny gang. Shout out everybody that is here from the press box and just give a year up. Oh, Brie is a member. Welcome, welcome to the other side. Oh, members, before I forget, we will be doing Lake Lanier today. We're going to do Lake Lanier today. So for those of y'all who have been asking, it will go down today in the members. Um, so what's popping to Sarah, to Lily? Be more careful, Courtney, that rainbow chick, Kimmy B. Sarah, goddess with the scoop, Larisi. Let's pull this. And I wanted to pull this fresh in front of y'all because I don't want nobody. Oops. I don't want nobody saying Henny. No, baby, we gonna pull it fresh for you, okay? So you can see that as of this date, as of this time, right here, as of this date right now, and this is Krishan's case that I am in. Hennessy shouldn't even have to do all that. Updated, but people as far will harass you. Anything if in you here, don't. there is a no bail still on her. Uh, still showing that this is the housing. There is still no update to the court date that is in august okay um there is still no release information that has been put in there however comma the oklahoma hold still remains right now so let's take a look over at this tab right here all right and let's scroll all the way down all right, let's go all the way down. I know you guys have seen this already, but I'm not going to get too much into this. I just want to show you this is still there. This is still here. The order for 30 days issued by Sheriff Craig County is still there. The warrant for arrest application to accelerate. All of this stuff is still here. Um, it has not been recalled like it was back in uh, July of 2023 there is no recall there is no quash order there is no none of that in there so i don't see that at this moment so i cannot report that cannot say that that's what happened but this is where we stand right now with all of this but we're gonna go into her court docs okay and we're gonna get into these docs it's not in any particular order um i am trying to go 
in the best order that I can. And right now we're going to start with, um, matter of fact, let's do this one first because this one came before that one came. I don't want to do Oklahoma first, okay, because Oklahoma requires a little bit more attention and I just want to get the information out there, all right? Hopefully everybody is enjoying their Tuesday morning. All right, so let's share this tab. Okay, I can see everything is good. So we all know about the state, the people of the state of California versus Krishan Malone. All right, we know about this case. This was a case that was brought on by these charges that came from the James Wright lawsuit that he put out there, okay? Um, but the crazy thing about this is, and I've said this and I'm going to keep saying this, the crazy thing about this is this state case came before his civil case. Yeah, he didn't so win I'm not that. understanding how that works um, because I thought that. Right. What You're exactly you right, Jackie. have a suit or something of that. It's just weird to me. Yep. But anyway, I'm I'm not going to stay what they on say that. Anyways, I don't know how every this state is. is. This, this is what she is actually being held in California for right now. We've already gone well, through her much, charges, right. but I will go through the list of charges one more time for y'all. So she was sentenced to 12 months of probation, and it's in effect as of right now. Um, she has orders to stay away from James. Um, she has orders to pay restitution to him. Let me make this screen bigger so y'all can see it. All That's all yourselves. he's going to get, big um, man. <laughs> she has to turn over all of her weapons. Now, that that is what this court date is about right here. She has to turn over what, her jewelry. She has to turn over any <laughs> weaponry that she has. OK, that's what this is for. But again, this is not showing up in the uh, sheriff's department. What is she going to turn over? They said that her rings were used as a weapon. So what is she going to go into the courts and, and, and um, turn in her jewelry? I'm being funny. They're not going to expect her to do that. But, yeah, when you got those big bulky rings on every hand and they're spelling out rock, they could be looked at as uh, brass knuckles and definitely a weapon. But, yeah, she's not going to have to turn those over. I want to disclaim and say I'm just joking. I don't want nobody saying that she's going to have to uh, – turning her jewelry to the courts it's not in there so i'm you know um she's still on she's on probation as of the 14th okay now we're back to here um she cannot make any threats or use force of violence on anybody she can't <laughs> annoy and harass the victim or the witnesses um and she has to stay away a hundred yards away from James and she can't be at 800 West Olympic Boulevard in Los Angeles. Okay. Um, her confinement terms were for 30 days. She has a credit for five days, conduct credit of five days. Okay. So this is why when you go back, all right, remember we talked about this, we talked about this. So when you go back, California gives her. Now, let me just tell you this. I hope that it's true that they double time it. So the two different uh, credits, which are the time served and the conduct credit, she's getting five days served, five days on the um, conduct and also um, a time served, five days, that's 10 days. I hope they do double them up like they, the, the people are saying out here in, in the streets, in the social media streets, because a lot of people are going to be disappointed if the only reason why she did, she doesn't get out tomorrow is because they don't double them up. Um, but it does say that she's getting out. Um, uh, allegedly, I didn't look it up. According to Vine, people are saying that it's saying she's going to get out tomorrow. But that doesn't necessarily mean she's getting out like onto the street. That might mean she's going to be released from their custody going to somebody else's custody. Or by law, she doesn't owe, you know, California no more jail time, but she still can be s still sitting in their custody until Oklahoma uh, decides what they're going to do, whether they're going to let her go on her own recogniz or um, come get her. So we don't know. But I hope that they let her out because, come on, let that girl go to her child. I know she's not a li above life's classroom. And, you know, if you break the law, you got to pay the time for it. But, um, you know, come on. 
just you know she has a newborn baby they should take you know some type of consideration into letting her maybe get another chance so she can clear this stuff up so she can go back and tend to a child i don't care what nobody says i think she tries really hard to be a better mother than of, of course her mother was to her in my opinion her for every one day it's two days so when you go back Hi, to what they just said, she actually has a credit of 10 days, not five. Based off of this right here. Credit for time served, five days. Conduct credit, five days. So when we go back to the 10th, when all of this happened, that first day counted as two days. So the 10th, we're going to, so the 10th is two, four, six, eight, 10. We're on the 15th, 12, 14, 16, we're on the 18th, 18, 20, we're on the 20th. She has a 10-day credit already. That's why she has a release date of the 20th. Let's go to the Vine link and let's pull that Vine link up for y'all. This is how you come with the release date of 20. So when I, I had a theory in my I mind so where I was Jackie. saying that, well, if you count the single days, because that would be 20, and you count up, excuse me, it would be 22 days or whatever, and you count up. I had this whole theory that I thought, but that's not the case. She has 10 days in credit, which would make her um, – eligible for release on the 20th today is the 18th guys today is the 18th so i know a lot of people are on pins and needles right now because it's two more days to the 20th all right we're trying to see what the heck. i feel what you're saying the real but you know the the um the harsh reality is the people that support her and really cared about christian rock they the ones that wasn't putting a battery in her back Krishan Rock knew that they were even saying for her own good, just like I would hope you guys would say it to me and I would say it to you, go clear that up. Because if you're you're worrying about being in your child's life, you know, and watching him, you know, grow and, and, and become something and you be a part of that, those memories, don't put no man before your child. You're, you're, you're there with him and his legal obligations. You're supporting him while he cleans up his act, but you got to also know how to balance out the two where you're taking care of your legal obligations, your responsibility as well. And also the motherhood, you got to learn how to balance that out. It does. And it shouldn't have to be, it shouldn't come across like you're taking care of a man and not, you know, your, your, your responsibilities out here in the street. And then you're, you're, you're running scared because you know you're not taking care of your legal obligations. You're not being responsible. You're more focused on the man than your freedom and ultimately your child because you're saying you can't love your son. And we, we know that you do, but you're not. Your actions are showing otherwise. So you got to be, hey, drip advisor, advisory. How are you, sweetie? You got to, you, you got to, we got to look at the whole big picture. You know, she, she was dropping the ball. And the more people would say stuff to her, she looked at it like people were trolling her, harassing her, or getting her in her business. And and honestly, people were probably genuinely was caring about the well-being of her and not wanting for nobody else to um, be taking care of Junior but her because of all the haters that she has, the frenemies, people that smile on her face but really are not her friends. You know what I'm saying? We And we don't want to see these other entities taking care of junior. I think she does a real good job at taking care of them. You know, you, you, you don't know how to be a good mother. If you never had one, I think that she is um, teaching herself from trial and error, how to be a good mother, but she's not going to get the opportunities to do that. If she starts ignoring the law and obligations that she has to fulfill within the law. Heck is about to happen, right? As of right now, when it comes down to her Vine link, let me refresh it for y'all. She's still showing as on probation, at probation, active supervision as of June 12th. This right here, this date and time has always been here. 
It has always been here. Um, from the minute I it think became that's active. What they should let her she do was too. absconded, but we're going to get into Zoom. all of that in a minute. I just wanted to give y'all this little bit of an update. I agree and, with you on you that. Know, now we're going to get into the meat and potatoes of everything. So we've discussed the case that she's actually being held for right now. But this is the James Wright civil suit right here. Okay. And these are the, the alleged charges that he's bringing her up on. All right. So this is James Wright versus Krishan Malone. Um, and his demand is over 25K. I don't understand that. Okay, um, these documents will be available over on the Patreon for you to review on your own if you so care to do so. Um, we already know what happened in this case. He's alleging that she punched him in, in the face multiple times. But when we've they read a the actual in his police back to go report, sue this the girl. police report does not do have a consistent own. amount of times that he was actually allegedly punched in the face, okay? Doesn't have a consistency to it. Um, I don't know what happened. You know, she did what she had to do. I'm going to say this. She did what she had to do to make sure that she got back home to Junior. But um, I don't see how this case could actually be taken seriously, okay? Um, I am going to look for a breakdown it's actually over 25K, guys. It doesn't have an actual amount in here. So I'm going to look for the breakdown of what he's actually um, going for. Because if y'all remember when I went through the blue face case, when uh, Soldier Boy's baby mama has him, excuse me, on a civil suit, and I had the breakdown. And it showed that she was saying this was for her pain and suffering. This is for the amount of wages that she lost. This is for the injury. I'm going to look for that and see if I can pull that for y'all, because then that will give you an actual total amount of what he's asking for. I am skimming through this document right now because we've already we've already read this document multiple times. Like I said, if you want to read this document, I will put that up on the Patreon and you are free to read the document or you can, you know, do what I do. Um. Okay, so verified complaint for assault and battery and intentional infliction of emotional distress and known uh, contents thereof. I certify that the same is true of my knowledge, except for those matters which are therein sta stated upon my information and belief. And so this was filed on February 3rd. Okay, this was filed on February 3rd. But again, this is where my confusion comes in at with this, because how in the world does this case come to court after this case came to court because this was filed on January 23rd. See what I'm saying? Um, the statements that were made were absolutely crazy because they're all over the place. Um, but it looked like even in one of those, um, it, even in that case, one of the witnesses did not want to they didn't give a statement. Henny Glass is in the chat. If you want me to read some of the court dockets to y'all, let me know. Because if y'all want me to read some of it, I have no problems with reading some of it. I know a lot of y'all enjoy when I read the court docs, but just Henny Glasses in the chat if y'all want me to read it. Okay, so y'all want me to read the court doc. I see this is going up. I agree they're going with up, that, they're Emily. Going up. All right, cool. Um, where my wrench is at? Henny hitters, the bar is closed. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of glasses going up in the chat. All right, so we will go ahead and we will read some of the documents. Okay, okay, let's get into it. All right, so we're going to go right on here. First cause of action. Uh, where is the... Buttercup, I believe it, it, it could affect it. 
um, because when you're on probation, you're not supposed to pick up any um, charges for anything. That's a violation to your probation. If you steal a candy bar out the store and you get caught for it, that's a violation to your probation. Not supposed to commit any crimes. You that means if you if you're if you're serving another probation time, you committed a crime. And probation is pretty much a sentence, but they're just making you do it on the outside. And um, if you basically break the violations of the probation, you can go to jail or do a percentage of the um, probation time. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things people can do to you in a court of law. You, you know, the, they're humans at the end of the day. You Don't even look at the law. Think about, you know, if a person wake up on the wrong side of the bed or they, they have prejudice, you know, against a, a race or, a, a, you know, a culture or whatever, or religion, whatever, you know, those people are the ones that ultimately making a decision over your life, whether you're going to have freedom or not. That's why it's, it's easy to get in trouble and it's hard to get out of. It's best not to get in no trouble, period, point blank, because it's hard to get out of this kind of stuff true complaint that's the second cause of action i want to hear their cause of action first cause of action. okay there is no um it's not set up like the other ones all right so let's go right in here into the cause of action assault against defendant thank you so um, much queen grandma Rock. malone thank you plaintiff sweetie. relays and incorporates by reference paragraphs one through four above the, oh hold on y'all it says if she never y'all know what time me. it is. I don't know. We don't know. Oh, it might be reinstated. And no, I want my other glasses, guys. Hold on one second. They might re reinstate it. No stipulations, just the same probation that she had. Don't add any more time to the probation. Or they could add more time to the probation and say we'll add more time to the probation, but we won't have her do a percentage of the probation, like say. 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, a year. No, they might just add more time to the probation and keep the stipulations of the probation where it's at. I, I, I'd i rather see them add more probation time than have her do a jail sentence, even 30 days. She needs to get back to junior. You know what I'm saying? Because I just feel like her being away even another 10 days longer, that's going to be... A, a talk of conversation too. You know, rumors are going to start swarming around Junior. Now. Well, it, it's already, but it's just going to get worse because she's not there to defend that little boy. So she needs to get home. Hold on. Let me get these spectacles. Let me get these spectacles up. All right. Okay, so I could still see some of it. This case arises from injuries suffered by the plaintiff as he was struck several times in the face by the defendant uh, while they were both at a concert event. Mr. Real, I hope you, you're paying attention when I'm in these live streams because I must say just about every day for the last couple of days prior to you bringing up the Zoom thing, that's all they should do is just do a Zoom. Be over with it. Don't have her travel anywhere. Just either talk. If, and if you can't do Zoom, why can't you have a conference call over the phone? I've said all of what you're saying. So we're on the same page. But we we don't have the, 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 the authority to, to make anything happen. It, it's the logical thing to do. But courts in the legal system, they don't, they don't really deal with logical the logical, easy uh, thing to do for somebody who they consider a criminal. You understand what I'm trying to say? They look at this as this is their punishment. They put themselves through it. So this is what they're going to go through. It's not right, but they don't care because sometimes when people are sitting behind these desks or up on these stands like judges on those podiums, they can give out all these harsh sentences and tell you what to do in your real life because they're not living it. You know, just like things that people say up here on, on social media about Christian Rock or Blueface, you can, you know, you, you're not living their life. You, you're talking about what they're really going through in real life. You can't be in somebody's shoes unless you've lived it. And working in different capacities. 
All right. This is what it's saying. On or about November 11th of 2023, at approximately 12:30 a.m., plaintiff and defendant were in on were in one of the dressing rooms at the Novo, located at 800 West Olympic Boulevard in Los Angeles, California, when they became exactly. engaged in a conversation. Now they're going to spend the narrative during the short conversation. Defendant commented to the plaintiff how nice she. That's why I don't agree. She needs to be in there any longer because I just think by her being in there longer. It's going to spin the narrative on something else because it just seems to me like, and I've been saying this way before, it's a smear campaign. I've been saying this way before, even when nobody was talking about her legal obligations. Chris Sean, I would say every day, like it was on my mind, every time I did a live, she should really go clear up those legal um, obligations because if somebody uh, is in touch with a cop and know a cop and you know, tells maybe a family member, yeah, go arrest Krishan Rock, or a cop's having a bad day and she's at that, um, you know, area when the cop comes, that cop might not do like a lot of the other cops that have seen her head on in the flesh and they didn't take her in. She's been around plenty of cops that could have taken her in on warrants and that didn't happen. And it just happened to happen the day she went to court, that she went into court, it wasn't a good day for her. We I we all know it's a, was a setup. It smells like a setup. It it's, it looked like a setup. But she doesn't need to be locked up, and people have time. They have enough time now. You know, even if she's not getting out to tomorrow, we don't need for false narratives and rumors to even get worse than what they already are at because of the fact that she has no control over the situation because she's locked up. Because we already know that the internet gives cowards an outlet. She was and how different he was from how different he was from everyone else at the event who had been mean to her. Let's pause right there. Yep, is the judge. We seen video. We seen video. We seen behind the scenes video that was leaked. And in that behind those behind the scenes videos, we saw people were being a little shady. Now, okay, it is said, and we all know you're not supposed to really in, interrupt a prayer circle. Okay, I agree. You're not supposed to interrupt the prayer circle. But when you are operating in the capacity of communicating with God, you also do not act shady. I am sorry. That is my stance. And that is what I'm going to say about that. Um, we did see that there were some things that were going on that were shouldn't have been going on. Um, we, we saw that in the beginning, it was seeming like Tamar was embracing her. They were twerking. They were doing all of that. And yeah. Tamar, to me, always been fake. I don't know how okay. Krishan got herself wrapped up into that's, that. That's a little better. Krishan should have knew Chan, better than that. I got to get these daggone Not with that shit. I should go get my regular glasses, but it's too late for that because, baby, we live. We're going to have to deal with it. All right, so it's amazing to me that there is an omission that people were not being so nice to her because he 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 referenced this right here. How nice he was and how different he was from everyone else at the event who had been mean to her. Also, he acknowledged hmm. that, huh? Defendant was crying and visibly upset. She stated everyone was, everyone was lying about her not being where she was supposed to be for her part of the performance. This is the twerk off, guys. Plaintiff believes and based thereon alleges that defendant was misinformed about her role that evening as she was only supposed to participate in the ending of the concert performance called the twerk off portion. Now, I thought that they said, since y'all want me to read it, we going to get we going to get into it. All right. <laughs> I know that's right. I thought the twerk off was like an intermission. I could have swore that's what I heard. That the twerk off portion was during an intermission because at the end of the show, that's when we saw Latroy come out with the plaque and the cake and all of that stuff, right? I, I know I'm not tripping. Okay, so you 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 heard that too. It was supposed to be during an intermission. Now it's at the end of the show. Okay. Okay. All right. So <laughs> inconsistencies 
And the sad part about this is everybody ran their mouth online. <laughs> Let me sip that good old Bustillo coffee. Shout out. Shout out to the Mr. Thing, Real is know, the enslaved mentality. Curie. I'm just, I feel so bruisey. Back to the story. It'll be your own kind. Okay. Uh, plaintiff believes and based thereon alleges that defendant, though she was supposed to have a thought she was supposed to have a larger performance role individually as a rap artist. Plaintiff tried to console defendant and confirm to the defendant that she was not in the designated area as everyone else had said because he would have seen her. Defendant became upset with the plaintiff and stated that if he again said she was not where she was supposed to be, she was going to hit him. Plaintiff politely told the defendant, I promise you, you are not on the side of the stage. But we've seen Krishan come from the side of the stage with a microphone. I don't know. Because even if what he's saying is true and it was supposed to be at the end of the concert, we all saw Krishan on the side of the stage. So was there not a twerk off? At the intermission, because baby, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. I got video on Hennessy reviews of what was going on. Okay. James was up there singing. It ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. You had the, the older woman up there uh dancing all on the man and stuff. It was wild. Their intermission was wild. It was adult friendly. It was not kid friendly. It was adult friendly. So now if he's saying that it was supposed to be at the end of the show, then at the end of the show, we saw Chris Sean on the side of the stage and she came out onto the stage with Tamar and they did in fact end the show without her performing. So this does not help him at all. It's real sad. It at is, all. sis. Because there's video evidence of this. That's it went viral. Sad. <laughs> I don't know how she got mixed up with no Tamar. She's so um, fake. Defended immediately using the hand. She was wearing large champion style rings. Struck the plaintiff <laughs> several times in the face. She said, get up off me with that fake. While defendant was being removed from the dressing room and continued to shout foul obscenities and insulting language towards the plaintiff, such as, can't repeat that on here. And I'll hit that MFR again. A number of other people were in the dressing room who witnessed the assault against the plaintiff. Defendant intended to cause and did cause the plaintiff to suffer apprehension of an immediate harmful attack. Now, an example of a battery put, being put in somebody's back, James Wright. James Wright had no intentions to do all of what he was doing with this civil suit and suing and whatever you want to call it. Uh, Tamar Braxton and all of her little rug rat friends were behind putting a battery in this dude's back because it was a smear campaign going on even then and a lot of stuff that uh, around then was gradually coming to the point of where you know Krishan's at now trying to get her locked up and Junior taken away from his mother um, and he just went along with the program you know so to me I think the court seen that and that's why they just gave her you know the probation time and you know the sentence and, and the you know what is it called uh, not community service she's going to have to pay pay him some i guess i don't know uh what is it called put it in the chat it's not community service uh restitution and that's it now i don't know if he can pursue it any further but from my um sources allegedly uh there's nothing more he can do about it so you know like i said god don't like ugly and he's not fond of beauty so that's how i look at it you know what i'm saying when people don't have good intentions on you they might not get their payback right away, but it, it comes back on you a thousand folds, not a hundred, a thousand. Okay. Um, this is basically repeating what happened up there and saying that uh, the defendant touched the Mr. plaintiff Real, now the that plaintiff was to be touched with the intent to harm or Rothen. offend the plaintiff. The plaintiff did not consent to the touching, so this is where the battery comes in at. Um. At the end of the day, 
The plaintiff suffered numerous physical injuries, including facial lacerations and a chipped tooth. Plaintiff has also suffered extreme mental anguish and severe Morning, emotional Sharon. distress, as well Morning. as physical pain and suffering. As a direct and proximate result of the defendant's conduct, plaintiff was required to obtain medical services and treatment in an amount she according to proof law. at Don't trial and will chronic. in the future be compelled to incur additional obligations for medical treatment in an amount occur uh occur I, I according agree, to emily playing devil's trial. advocate i do agree with that plaintiff was unable to work for a period of three weeks and accordingly lost wages in the amount according to proof at trial let me explain something to y'all after that show there wasn't any shows see you know what i'm gonna do I'm going to give y'all these case files and then I'm going to take these case files one by one and I'm going to bring y'all the proof that I have seen and that we all have seen to back up the things that we know to be true and not true because at the end of the day, they didn't have anything scheduled during that time either. So what jobs did you lose, sir? Please explain that to us. Now I understand in lawsuits, people do stretch the truth a little bit, you know, but we all knew that this was going to result in him trying to get some cash money out of her. All right. Um, so that is this case with James Wright. All right. The next case that we have is the case with the hairdresser. You know, the one that was just doing Carlissa's hair. Ciao. <laughs> Child. And she is going for uh, assault, battery, intentional infliction of emotional distress, negligence, negligent hiring, supervision and retention, premises liability. And this girl is going after Krishan as an individual, Zeus Network, Baddies Club Premier, Zeus Network LLC, Baddies Club, and, and you know, the, the venue where it was at. So uh, let's get into this, okay? Here are the general allegations, all right? On or about January 22nd, 2023, plaintiff was in, in attendance of a premiere event in the subject, at the subject premises and approached by defendant Krishan Rock, who say hello and compliment her on her appearance. After discussing a prior working relationship with defendant Krishan Rock, plaintiff turned around and began to walk away. Suddenly and without warning, defendant Krishan Rock physically assaulted the plaintiff and the plaintiff was tackled by the defendants. Uh, does one through 20. So those are those Jane, uh, John Doe's one through 20 um, with such force that the plaintiff suffered injuries and damages. The force of defendants, Chris, Sean Rock, and Doe's 1 through 20 assault on the plaintiff's body caused the plaintiff to suffer physical injuries and damage. At no time before, during, or after the attack did the plaintiff batter or attempt to batter Chris Sean, uh, defendant Chris Sean Rock and Doe's 1 through 20. As a result of the aforementioned conduct, plaintiff was physically and psychologically damaged, incurring medical bills, sustained disability and had to retain an attorney and has incurred legal costs in connection therewith in order to prosecute this action. Here's the thing. She didn't look disabled when she was doing Carlissa's hair, though. Did she look disabled to y'all when she was doing Carlissa's hair? This part. <laughs> Baby, it's right here in black and white. She's suing Zeus, okay? She didn't sound, look, or, or any of that. Yeah, see, y'all y'all saw it. She sure didn't, okay? But you was disabled, girl, girl. You pop back up and look. She looked fine after. I'm not saying, listen, I'm just saying what I saw, and that's what I saw. She popped back up, okay? I agree with you. 
He shouldn't have put his hands on her. Thank you. But I think they were trying to clown a little bit. And she probably felt that they were trying to play in her face, and that's why she did what she did. Oh, the wrong document is up? Oh, my bad. Thank you. In my opinion. That's just my opinion. Because mm -hmm. I get vibes from people, too. You know when people are sincere and when they're not. That's, okay. That's what can take you over the edge when you know they're She's not being She's going serious. for the assault, okay? She's going for battery. She's going for intentional infliction of emotional distress, okay? What, are, Miss, what are you talking about? So now I am blocked. See, people show their true colors. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to display her seeing that she wants attention. You came in here with your opinion. Obviously, you're not a uh, Christian Rock supporter, and you don't have to be because I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, on nobody's side either. I'm neutral. I, 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 uh, I take the right side. When Krishan's doing something wrong, I tell her about it. And when she's doing something right, I'm going to speak about it. When she's doing something wrong, I'm going to speak about it as well. Right, wrong, good or bad, I'm going to speak about it. If she's doing something good, I'm going to praise about it. Doing something bad, I'm going to talk about it and let her know about herself because I'm a realist. But you, you're up here on this platform. I could feel, because i never seen you in this chat at all, I could feel that you obviously wasn't a Christian Rock supporter. But the minute I guess a comment or something wasn't put up, or maybe you put something maybe in a pre-recorded video that's not even live, you go back to look to see if the comment was deleted or something like that because you're trying to plant seeds. You you tell us your true colors because why would you think that you were blocked? If you were blocked, duh, you wouldn't be able to um, I wouldn't be able to see you or pin your comment, right, sis? So don't get up here starting no mess because you will get blocked, okay? Nobody has blocked you. You're probably somebody who don't even hit the like or the dislike button on my channel, but you're in the bushes. You don't even interact in the chat. You just want to suck up the information like a leech. Now you want to say something today, come out the bushes, and then as soon as you think somebody's trying to ignore you planting the seeds, you're thinking that you got blocked. That's your own conscience telling on yourself. What did you block me? No, I didn't block you yet, but I will in a minute. Keep clowning around. As a re result of me. defendants, Krishan Rock and those one through 10, 20, socially unacceptable conduct set forth above the plaintiffs has suffered severe and extreme emotional That's distress, right. including but not limited to highly unpleasant mental suffering and anguish that entails such intense enduring that entails such intense that doesn't make sense enduring and non-trivial emotional distress that no reasonable person in a civilized society would be expected to child the dramatic it's the dramatics for me Highly unpleasant Apologies mental acceptance. suffering and anguish that entails such intense, enduring, and non-trivial emotional distress that no reasonable person in civil in a civilized society would be expected to endure. Ain't that what Junior goes through on a daily basis? Isn't this what Junior goes through on a daily basis? Somebody, somebody, take up a case for yeah, Junior. Yeah, she did play in the judge's face. Somebody take a case yeah. up for Junior because this sounds like what the hell he go through. And, and child, let me shut up. Okay, let me just well, stick to the first facts. Time I let me stick to really the facts. Acknowledge it then. My apologies. Defendant Krishan Rock and those one through twenty outrageous, malicious, oppressive, and despicable conduct, as set forth above, was intended to cause injury to the plaintiff and subject the plaintiff to cruel and unjust hardship with a willful and conscious disregard for the plaintiff's right and safety such that the defendant is subject to punitive damages as set forth by California <laughs> Civil Code. Hmm. Additionally, because of the special relationship between plaintiff and subject premises, defendants, Zeus Network, Zeus Network, Baddies Club Premier, unknown entity, Zeus Network LLC, a California liability limited liability company, Baddies Club, 
unknown entity. And then she names the Laurel Plaza LLC, a California limited liability uh, company. Those 21 through 100 inclusive had a duty to control defendant Krishan Rock and those one through 20 and protect the plaintiff from physical and mental harm. Defendants and each of them breach their duty to care for the protection of the plaintiff when defendants Krishan Rock and those one through 20 in the presence uh, of others aggressively approach the plaintiff on the subject premises and threaten to touch and or grab the plaintiff in a harmful manner such that it reasonably appeared that the defendants Krishan Rock and those one through 20 were about to carry out the threat after discussing a prior working relationship with the defendant Krishan Rock plaintiffs turned around and began to walk away suddenly and without warning defendant Krishan Rock physically assaulted the plaintiff um and the plaintiff was tackled by defendants one through 20 with such force that the plaintiff suffered injuries and damages as a direct result of the breach of their affirmative duty to protect the plaintiff from physical and psychological injury while at the subject premises. The that's, right. that's all we should mal- be worrying about is junior, right? Not no grown folks. and non feces of defendants and each of them was the proximate or legal cause of the plaintiff's injuries. In case you haven't picked up on it, defendants one through 20 are the bodyguards that was there, the security that was there, the security that was there in place, the security that was there, child, anyway. You see, she is suing Krishan Zeus uh, Network Baddies Club Premier. I don't know what that was. I guess that's the name of the title of it. It was the Zeus Network Baddies Club Premiere or whatever. And then it was Zeus Network and the club and the baddies and all of that. So everybody is named in this. And she's going after the club for hosting the venue. She's going after Zeus for not, um, you know, providing adequate security for her, for her at the venue. When in all actuality, if there's security for Zeus, and Krishan works for Zeus, then their job was to protect Krishan and everybody else that was under the Zeus network, they're working in their capacity of work, right? Oh, this is interesting. But she broke into the venue and snuck into the event and lied her way to the red carpet after placing threats to unalive her unborn. How oh, she okay. figured. You've been Not only Nathan that, boy. she was okay, popping it online. Stuff. See, this is the woman who burned Krishan's hair. This is the woman who burned Krishan's hair. Yep, exactly. And then Sharon went Stone. online popping it. And then you showed up to her work environment because she was there working, you showed up there. Then she's wrong when she puts hands on people. <laughs> Be setting her up, man. That's a crazy, it's crazy, man. Jealousy I don't know if justifying anything. I am just stating the facts because that is what happened. We all watched it. So now this is civil lawsuit case number two. So now we've already gone through one criminal case and two civil cases. All right. Now let's get into this one right here. I don't know if y'all remember me reading this one before, but it doesn't even matter because I'm doing this to put everything into one video. So you guys have the information because you guys, I know it's a lot that's going on out there. So it's very easy for people to forget what is going on, what isn't going on. So now let's get into this one. This one is from Rama. I don't know how to say that last name. Montakabi. Montakabi. I think that's how you say that. I don't know. You okay, She is going after Krishan Rock and the Zeus Network and those 1 through 20 inclusive. All right. Her complaint for damages is battery, assault, intentional infliction of emotional distress, negligent infliction of emotional distress and negligence. Okay. Um, let's see. All right. Because this one is kind of wild. Uh, this one is kind of wild. 
All right, this is the first cause of action, the battery. Plaintiff incorporates herein each and every allegation contained in the previous paragraphs of the complaint herein on or about June 26, 2023 at the BET Awards after party or CMG after party located at Hollywood Eden Club, formerly Emerson Theater, Los Angeles, California. Defendant Krishan Rock intentionally, will, willfully, and maliciously without provocation, provo provocation and without the consent of the plaintiff, struck, attacked, assaulted, battered, tortured, and imprisoned. Baby, when I tell you the wording in some of these, y'all about to get mad. Okay, when I read this, let me just give y'all yeah, a they're, disclaimer. They're dragging about to it. Get mad about this. Being one. dramatic about it, writing it all like a dramatic storyline. That's crazy. Y'all about to get Try mad to make about it worse this than what it is. Yeah, because of the rings on her fingers. Let me fix this because I, I really don't they, honestly they use I don't that like as that weapons. Sitting. I don't like the way it's sitting because of the rings. I mean, we go at each other, but at the most part, we can agree to disagree. You know what I'm saying? We we're all family up here, man. You know, no. we 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 we're all right. All right, we're going to get this we screen how right I like it. Forget it. I, I need to fix my screen, y'all. Just bear with me one second. Put the screen that I like up there. Because I like it up there for a reason. We all get hot-tempered. We all have opinions that we don't always agree with. But, you know, at the end of the day, as long as we have respect for one another, we good. You know what I'm okay. saying? We I good. like it up here for a reason. I'm going to zoom in for y'all. Give me a second. Oh, baby. Make All sure right. y'all go over and subscribe to Hennessy's review Assuming. channel. Whenever you get off this live, make sure you go bring it over. Subscribe to a channel. Now let's view. Our link is let's at the top of the description of this chat. Okay, y'all looking real good. It's looking real good. Looking real good. All right. So here we go. Okay, so we left off at tortured and imprisoned the plaintiff. All right. Defendants, by their unlawful actions, as alleged herein, intended to and did cause a harmful and offensive contact with and severe injury to the plaintiff's person without the consent of the plaintiff. Now, I don't understand why they keep saying it. If somebody hit you, you didn't consent to it. You sure it's not didn't. like we're talking about adult activity acts where it's possible that somebody is into S&M. SMBDM BDM, <laughs> or however SMBDM. I don't know. S but unless we're talking about a case it? like S that, I really don't understand why they keep stressing that. But um, whatever. Let's continue. That's right, Mr. As Real. a direct and approximate result of defendant's conduct, the plaintiff suffered extreme mental shock and anguish and physical pain. Defendant's actions, as alleged to him, were carried out knowingly, willfully, and with the malicious intent to injure the plaintiff, entitling the plaintiff to punitive damages against the defendant. Plaintiff incorporates herein, defendant intended to and did cause the plaintiff uh, apprehend and apparent, I'm sorry. She said, then I was rocked. <laughs> and you rocked the world, Sharon? And immediate, <laughs> unlawful. That is our, our, our apprehend child. As a direct and proximate result of the defendant's conduct, plaintiff has suffered general damages in the amount to be determined by proof at trial. Defendant's conduct was done willingly, uh, knowingly, willfully, maliciously with the intent to harm. Okay. Intentional infliction of emotional distress. I want to read. Uh... I want to read where is that part at? Okay. Plaintiff, okay. On or about June 26, 2023 at the BET party, uh, after party um, located. We know that, all right. Defendant Christian Rock intentionally, willfully, maliciously. I know that, um, Sharon. <laughs> without prov provocation and without consent of the plaintiff struck us. So we read that part. Um, defendant by their unlawful actions alleged herein intended to intended to and did cause a harmful and offensive contact with a severe injury to the plaintiff because she basically was talking about how um yeah rock's gonna be all right let's just pray that she gets out but sometimes okay, people can't pray for people because they pray on you mm. 
All right. So now this is where she is talking about plaintiff incorporates the incorporates herein. So the corporations, the businesses, all right? Thank you, Queen. Defendants breach their duty Grandma. of Thank care by you, using Queen. excessive force and failing yeah. to use ordinary care. Make sure yeah. y'all hit the like button. Let's try to get them uh, Ordinary care in their the conduct like. and interactions with the plaintiff on or about 626, 2023. Defendants breach their duty of care by failing to properly supervise and monitor Krishan Rock and by failing to warn and to notify the plaintiff of Krishan Rock's dangerous uh, propensities by negligently hiring and training and supervising Krishan Rock and thereby are, were negligent in causing the plaintiff's injuries and damages of the complaint of herein. Um, wherefore, the plaintiff praised the judgment against the defendants in each of them the following. She's seeking medical expenses, general damages according to proof, um, all other special incidental damages, a uh, loss of earnings according to proof, a uh, loss of earning capacity, prejudgment interest according to proof, uh, cost of the suit incurred, attorney fees, punitive and exemplary, exemplary whoo, I couldn't get it out, damages as allowed by the law, um, such other further relief as the court may deem proper. So they're looking for whatever the court is going to give them. But this right here, is a crazy lawsuit. I don't know, you know, what the hell this woman is talking about because it reads as if, thank you, Robin. Um, it reads, I know that's now right. this is an actor who says she was on stars. Okay. She said she was on stars. And again, what I will do for y'all is I will go case by case, one by one and break this all down for y'all in a separate video. Um, that's gonna be just a so lot. that y'all can have it. It'll probably be recorded. I probably won't go live with that because I need to make sure that every T is crossed and every I is so dotted. Gotta focus, okay? right. Especially um, with, before with we get into crowd. Oklahoma, I do want to go over here. But as you saw, those are Krishan's civil cases. Now, when it comes down to getting into her criminal records, okay, we know about the warrant in Oklahoma. We know about the warrant in Oklahoma, okay? So we're going to go over here to Maryland. And we're going hey, to man. pull this right here. This is her warrant. I had to read what you had to say. You had. Okay. <laughs> this is her warrant. It's been active since July. This is a misdemeanor. This right here is Mary Jane. It is a misdemeanor warrant. So all of those that are saying they're going to take her from Oklahoma and take her over there to Baltimore and am I showing the screen? I am. Okay. They're going to take her from Oklahoma to Baltimore so she can serve time there. Uh, baby, that ain't what's going to happen. <laughs> that ain't what's going to happen. It's a misdemeanor. So more than likely what's going to happen is if she gets, see right here, possession of marijuana. Uh, okay. Paraphernalia. Paraphernalia that I wish a is what they call the stuff that blank, you do. Blank, blank wood. You know, your papers and stuff like that. Um, and that it was only 10 grams. And grandma. 10 grams. <laughs> if she gets in trouble and has That's any police up, contact, Linda, they run Thank her name in Baltimore. This warrant is going to come up. That's what's going to happen. Good morning, Period. Rosen. How are so you? So all of this bending out of shape that is happening, it's not going to happen. Now, let's go to this Woe Vicky. So that's two warrants we know about. Now, there was a warrant on Woe Vicky, but I want yeah, y'all to look at this number right Whoa, here, Vicky. D05-CR-23-023-141. <laughs> when you pull this up in the court docs, let me take this out for you. Let me copy it. They give her anger management classes because she let me reset. That would be a good let thing. Let me go ahead and let her. me paste. It would definitely help her out. You know what I'm saying? It is not found. So this is and why I have to way. resort to, I believe to she, the screenshot she could use that, that I have of this. Let me zoom in a little bit for y'all. Because some of y'all might need glasses like I do. I know I need them sometimes. The warrant Hennessy. was quashed 
recalled, done, over on November 28th of 2023. On January 18th of 2024, though, <laughs> do y'all see where it says dismissal and there is no other activity after that? Dismissal is right here. That is why you can't pull it. There's nothing here, no data on that case. This is the last screenshot taken of this case. The case has disappeared. Now you can go try to pull it if you want to. I done gave you the court number. Y'all see where I went to go get it? Y'all can go pull it. It's like it don't exist anymore. So y'all missed that whole presentation. Let me show y'all. Let me redo the presentation. <laughs> you gotta break it, break it down to them. Break it down to them so that they ain't Let's coming reset. back. Trying to bring it up at a later date. Let's paste. Trying to plant seeds. Let's search. What you gotta do slowly break it down. I gotta break minute, it on. down. Yeah, this is the same number. Do five CR twenty three zero twenty three uh one. This is the same number. We all don't learn at the right same here. pace. <laughs> I believe Rock is so angry because of the way Blue treats her. I think this so case too. doesn't pull up, and she's and what I'm showing y'all is in, not saying that's an excuse. I get there it. There was a warrant for her. The warrant was recalled and quashed. Okay, the warrant was put out there for failure to appear on 10-13-2023. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all a warning right now. Uh oh, I might have to. I'm gonna give y'all a warning right now. I think she, she you can see this right here. A lot of people say it, sis. Come on now. Tell the truth and shame have the devil. I've been saying this because it is a fact. A lot of the issues are she did not show up for court. She did not pay a fine. She did not answer. So as we get into these criminal cases, understand that that's something that you're going to see. Even the one in Maryland hey, girl. with the, the Mary Jane charge, it's going to be that she did not show up to court. Okay? Right. If you don't so accept this right it, here was the warrant. The warrant was as issued you have a on problem, it's not gonna work. Right, lucky girl. See, document failure to appear. Warrant issued. Warrant issued for failure to appear. Bail set by the commissioner. The bail amount is zero. Okay, courtroom respondent failure to appear. Preliminary injury. Uh, document name, state attorney, notice to Noli. All right. Here we are on the 28th of November. No, she's not. In, um, cold and she's a commentary channel. Dismissal. Nothing else. No. Hennessy is a commentary channel who does straight commentary. She doesn't upload videos and, 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 and copyright. She doesn't upload somebody else's content and just put it on her, slap it up on her channel. She does the work. She commentates. That means she discusses the the legal issue, uh, the the social media entity that we're discussing, whether it's Christian Rock, Blueface, Bonnie Lachey, Carlissa. She's doing commentary. It's a conversation with her community about the topic. She doesn't just uh you know record a video and just upload it and boom that's my commentary you call yourself a commentary channel you have to put commentary to it you have to make it into your own and i'm quite sure you have heard her explain that's why she has the watermark that's why when she takes other com uh commentary videos uh, herself like with academic for an example when he tried to get one of her videos taken down she made that content that he made into her own because she added another level um of character to it by adding her her viewpoint about it and you know also her receipts because you have to have receipts when you're talking about harsh allegations that were um you know uh he was being accused of which was academics we already know about the essays cases that he has 
allegedly, even if we know that they are true, we weren't there. So we have to say allegedly. So that, that's what makes her a true diehard um, in your face. I know how to do my thing commentary. She does straight up commentary. And you do not see commentary channels put into work like Hennessy does. And I, that's why I love her channel. She's the only channel I can literally, a video could be three hours and I can sit on it until it's it's done. I might put it on pause, go to the bathroom, go get something to eat, answer the phone, and then I'll go back to the video. And sometimes if I feel like I got interrupted too much, like in my house, phone ringing, this, somebody in the background saying something to me, somebody knocking on my door, I'll look at the whole entire video all over again. And refuse to get um, disturbed because I want to follow what she's saying. She she's she has a lot of insight. That's what I'm telling you. You guys got to go over and subscribe to her channel. She's the truth. Nothing else. Case dismissed. Can't pull it. Y'all can go try to pull it. You're going to get the same thing. Now, if somebody else can pull it, then y'all can pull it. But as for me and my crew, we can't pull it. You can't even pull it in any of the off out of state sites that be used out there. So we're still at only two warrants right now. We're still at only two warrants. Now, there was a mention of her Arizona case. Here is her Arizona case, criminal case. It was for disorderly conduct, disturbance, criminal trespass, and the third degree property. Okay. This was completely dismissed by the city attorney in the Scottsdale City Court. It was dismissed. Okay. All of this right here, this is a failure to pay that came into play. And in all of this, this is tax refund and lottery. This is where they have put in an intercept for her taxes to collect fees that she owes to Arizona. But nowhere in here is there a warrant. Case dismissed. She still has fees to pay, no warrant. However, comma, when we come over here, we see that there was an online motion filed on 6-15 of 2024, suspicious. And said motion was reviewed and no action was taken. Who put a motion on this case just a few days ago, you want to know? The victim, the victim tried to file an online motion on 615 and there was no action taken. The case is These resolved so as miserable. of 717, 2024, which was yesterday. People are miserable. So there is no warrant. Are y'all seeing it? Yeah, y'all seeing it. Mm -hmm. There is no warrant in Nevada. And this case is from 2022, y'all. And they're trying to still... You waited um, until 2024. Spark it back up. Misery. The plea was accepted August of 2022. Okay? Um, let, me, let me put that up so y'all can see it right here. Money. money grab. There was a guilty plea. The plea was accepted. These are all the charges. This is the fee that she has to pay right here. All of that has to be paid. If you see a dollar amount, it needs to be paid. Okay. You see clean electronics. These are all victim enforcement assessment. These are all of the court fees that need to still be paid to this day. All right. But this case has been dismissed. This case has been dismissed by the district attorney, the city attorney, the district attorney. Oh, that, that's going to break a pockets, uh, lucky girl. She has a tax interception on that case for non-payment of fees. I'm going to tell you something. 
Krishan, baby, you come home, please go handle your business. I'm trying to tell you. F everything else that is going on. Take your behind down there to Arizona. Go pay these fees, yep. sweetheart. Pay these fees, all right? Or find out how it can be paid over the phone. Pay these fees and get them out your way because they have an interception. I already told y'all this. Every time I got onto a live, put a Y in the chat. I know y'all was probably like, why every time we're talking about, not even about her legal issues, just talking about Krishan in general, maybe something that popped off, right? I always go back to she needs to handle these legal fees. I don't care if it's fines, fees, warrants, whatever you got to get lifted, handle them. Get these people out of your life. Because when you do that, you leave yourself open for them to take advantage and, and, and drag this and make it more than what it is. Take your freedom from you. Take you away from your child. And all this nonsense. And it don't have to be like this. Take care of your business. Put Blueface's business last. Take care of you. All right? Take your butt over there to Maryland. Go see them people and handle what you got to handle. It's a misdemeanor Mary Jane case. You probably had some backwoods with you and your 10 grams and boom. Go handle Those your personal business. use and just handle your business right. Go handle your business, baby. Stop looking like you're right? guilty when now when you don't have to. Be. We're gonna get into this Oklahoma case. She better. I'm trying to tell you, man, because they're taking it too far. Now, now there were the two rail. updates to this case. Okay, she's this, allowing this them to do it right here. Taking care of it. You this know, this document is from February 23rd of 2024. All right. And this is an application to accelerate deferred judgment, okay? Now, we're going to read the DOC violation report for this, and then we're going to read the last violation report, okay? So here is the violation report from June 27th of 2023, all right? Her supervision, I want y'all to pay attention to this right here. Her supervision end date was August 14th of 2024. Do y'all see that? I mean, September. I said August. September. Now, this right well, here, this discharge date, is this is for the absconding. All right. In March 23rd, Krishan Malone requested an interstate supervision transfer via the Interstate Commission of Adult Offender Supervision, the OCA OS. Now, remember when we were going through her list of charges, I said I believe that that was for the probation. That's what the out of state, that was a fee. The $25 fee was for the out of state, all right, to California as a returning resident. In June of 2023, the state of California submitted a violation report notification, a business record via the Interstate Compact Offender Tracking System, which is the OC, you know, whatever, whatever, okay? The, o, the ICOTS is an approved and utilized documentation system within, you know, the Interstate Compact. All right? Now, um... Federal compact and serves as a conduit for miscellaneous communication exchanges and helps to promote effective supervision strategies for offenders under supervision in another state and available in all applicable supervision authorities and officer, offices, officers, including the Oklahoma Department of Corrections. All right. So attached A. So A is the violation report requiring retake date 6-9 of 2023 as submitted by supervision's officer, all right? The violation, I will report in person or a, di or, um, I, or a directed by the probation officer, all right? On April 13th of 2023, a violent search was conducted and no information was found in California, Nevada, or Oklahoma. Malone's whereabouts are unknown. It appears she is evading supervision and is considered to be an absconded super, uh, absconder of supervision. 
Okay, so that's where that came in at. Absconding came in April 13th of 2023. All right. The second one she violated, I will not leave the state of Oklahoma without written permission of the judge, nor will I change my address without notifying my probation officer. I will allow my officer to visit me at my home or where else. Okay, it says, please refer to attached A and B regarding a tip. You're right. She needs a legal team not only to handle her legal um, situations, but not to be so focused on money. She needs somebody that is got some some smarts to him. I don't mean her sister Chastity, you know, a, 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 a sewer rat, but somebody that can go in also with her. It's just like buying a car. You, you're a woman. You take a man with you that know about cars and sit down and 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 see if they're in the best interest of uh, Christian Rock. Stop paying out these money to these lawyers that are trying to suck up the money and not put in the work. And then you end up ultimately losing your freedom or in this situation right now because you ain't got nobody that's representing you. It's all about a paper chase, even with the lawyers. Attempts to contact Christian uh, Malone at her last known residence and without success. She needs a good lawyer. Has been received that Malone is no longer at her last address and she failed to notify of changes of address. Right. Okay, now let's talk about this right here. During this time in 2023, if y'all go back and y'all remember, she was staying with Blueface. And at some point in time, which was in June, somewhere around there in June, she was no longer living there. And she was living in the hotels and all of that in the Airbnbs and da-da-da-da, da-da-da, da-da-da. She was no longer at Blue's house. She didn't have a residence, a stable residence at that time to report to them. However, comma, there was no report of an address given to them, not even the Airbnb or any of that. So again, <sighs> Krishan, girl. Baby love. Mm. Yeah, you got to. Can't keep putting the battery in her back because Baby, this was getting her in trouble business. too. People are Feel. thinking, she's thinking the people around her are saying, all right, let's get back Don't worry it, about right? it. You're doing the right thing, but she's really not. Um, putting the battery in the back. Okay, so she has also failed to allow her officer to visit her at home or elsewhere. All right. Then it goes on to say, according to attached A, Malone is reportedly self-employed. However, employment verification has not been received to date. So her employment status is unknown. I understand that I am to remain under supervision by the probation and parole office until I serve my maximum term unless I am placed on unsupervised status by the court or Department of Corrections. Malone has not re been released from supervision. However, she has stopped reporting again she just stopped remember reporting. the time frame that we are in we are talking about 2023 now i know i'm saying you need to handle your business and i also understand that during that time that was a lot going on okay it was a lot going on she's pregnant blue done put out the house blue is dragging on the internet it, it was a lot going on all right. And I am in no way making no excuse. I am just stating what it is. But I'm quite sure that there was mail that came to that house. I am quite sure that there was some type of notification that came to that house and it was not being given. And to I her that he should have at least been given so it to her. Therefore, I cannot say that all of this that was. See, you know what? That's I agree with that. But I couldn't get it out fast enough because I was blowing my nose. I had it on mute. He wasn't giving her the mail. That's your home. That's your residence. You know what comes there as far as mail. Being mad at Krishan, you was not giving that girl her mail. You're part of the problem. You're not part of the solution, Blueface. I'm quite sure Mill was going to any address that they that they know of in the system that she last lived. And I'm quite sure legal Mill went to Blueface's um, address. He just never gave it to her.
or Jaden. If she saw her, she threw it away. What's going on in this point in time that they're talking about in 2023 falls solely on her. Because at that point in time, the address they had was Blue's address. That is the house that she was living in. That was her home. And if they have tried contacting her and they have tried mailing her and they have tried showing up at the house, if they have her address and they've been going to the house for home visits, let's really think about this. They're going to her house for home visits. That means that they had to pop up at that residence to find out that she wasn't at that residence to know that her whereabouts were unknown. Right. For them to put it on the legal document that her um, whereabouts are unknown, they had to have went to the address. I'm not physically. saying, but I'm saying. Well, that's what that's that's how they they can't assume and then put it on a legal doc in black and white. They had to have went to the residence. Nobody responded. They probably figured she don't live there no more. And that's kind of pissing me off right now, because at the end of the day, this is crazy. Oh, okay, where are we? We down here now. Special condition C performed 120 community service hours to be completed per the attached schedule must be performed at a homeless shelter. So while we're saying that, you know, maybe she could use the football as community service, they are very specific as to what she is supposed to be doing for community service. And they wanted her at a homeless shelter, helping out at a homeless shelter for 120 hours, okay? There is no indication that Malone has started or completed this court ordered requirement. Summary recommendation. Kashawn Malone's whereabouts are unknown. Attempts to locate her have been conducted without success. It appears Malone has absconded supervision. See this right here? Attempts to locate her have been conducted without success. Yes, yeah, she's You she's cannot still, convince me that there was no mail and there was no pop-up at that house. You can't convince me of that. But even though, I must just say, I'm playing devil's advocate. Even though mail was popping up, we know that. I mean, let's make common sense of it. Even if, if even if she never used mailing address, um, you know, at probation, they're going to look up all of, by her name, first, last name, probably security, all like, and usually like you can pull up a search online of, of previous addresses that the, um, the the probation that's on um the person that's on pro, uh, probation lived at okay prior and they'll they'll probably even send attempts to those addresses so we we know i mean it's common sense that they did try to mail out you know documents telling her she has to come in and you know reinstate her probation she's in violation and all that but at some point we still have to hold uh Christian Rock accountable she ultimately made all of these decisions on her own and she's in the trouble on her own. If she was going and complying with probation, nobody would have picked her up at the courthouse in California um, where she's now doing what she did like 10 days out of a 30 uh, day sentence in California because all her warrants would be cleared up. She would be free and clear um, any of her like financial obligations as father's paying fines, fees, community service, or um, uh, what is it called? Uh, restitution to the victims. All that being current, she's not in arrears. She would not be in the situation that she's in. Nobody can lead anybody to water. You can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make them drink. They have to want to do this on their own. That's just the bottom line. You can't because it's right here in black and white that they attempted to conduct it without success. 
It appears Malone has absconded supervision due to her unknown whereabouts, her residence, employment status, and status on court order requirements are unknown. Okay. Because of her failure to report immediate sanctions I are not appropriate at real. this time. An updated level of service inventory revised has not been conducted due to her supervision transfer status based upon information compiled in this report An application to accelerate filing a warrant has been requested. It is respectfully requested that she remain in Oklahoma until completion of any form of probation and or revoked or a time deemed appropriate by the court. Rashawn Malone is obligated to return to Oklahoma to address her noncompliance her her probation, her interstate con uh, compact requirements. Therefore, it is further requested that Malone be ordered to pay restitution in the amount of transportation costs. I cost told you to, to be get her to Oklahoma, Oklahoma to the appropriate Bingo. transporting agency. Yep. Now, remember when I was talking to about transport. them coming to get her, if they come and extradite her, that she would be paying out of pocket yep. for that. That is where I got that from. Yep. And that's where I got it from. That is where I got that from, because it says it right there in black and white that the amount of the transportation costs are to be returned to Oklahoma in the approach to the appropriate transporting agency. OK, now this is the supervision. This is the original report. It says original report. What is the date on this? The date is 6-9-2023. OK. And it says absconder, mandatory. And 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 look at the date of this. 6 9 2023. That's when she was, that's when all that stuff was going on. Okay. Warrant requested. Okay. Down here it says determined by absconding details. Defendant failed to report to the ESF. I know she just for orientation. Hearing. A letter dated 425-23 was mailed to the above noted address, which was Blue's house. And, okay. and she was living there then. Instructing the defendant to report to the supervision intake team located in East San Fernando East. San Fernandino or Fernando, sorry, area office on 5 2 2023. That letter was returned to sender as vacant and unable to be forwarded. Mm. Who's messing with the mail? Yeah, so maybe Let me pull this Papa in Blue. closer so y'all can see this for yourselves. Maybe Who Papa is Blue. messing with the mail? Maybe Papa uh, Blue because no, he acted mighty shady with her. When she got arrested. The letter was returned to sender as vacant and unable to forward on 511. My opinion, it was possible. So before Blue. she was even out the house, the mail was going back. Papa Blue. Things that make you go, hmm. The case was assigned to this writer. The following attempts to contact the defendant were made on 518 telephone call attempted to above noted number. However, the voicemail was full. A text was then sent um, requesting the defendant to contact the writer. On the same date of 518, a letter was sent to the above noted address instructing the defendant to report to the office on 525-2023 at 9 a.m. The defendant failed to report. On 528, 2023, the letter was returned to sender as it was undeliverable and unable to forward. On 525, 2023, an email was sent informing the defendant to conduct uh, to contact this writer. To date, to the date of this dictation, 531, 2023, the defendant has failed to respond. The probationer is her is self-employed and lived alone at this time. Interesting. On 6-8-2023, Los Angeles Sheriff's Department Cobra team attempted to do a residence check on the defendant living, at her address together. To, uh, uh, to no avail without success. The probationer's whereabouts were unknown at the time. See attached documents. I think she's referring to 2024. I might be wrong. I can retract that. Okay, go back and read. Uh, go back and look at some of this stuff that was going on. Now, this one is November 21st of 2023. Henny, why are you going through all of this right now? Henny is going through all of this right now because this is the history 
of the Oklahoma case. All right. So this right, is from November. How clean the house this is, is when Will Vicky's like case enters Sean the chat. Is a pig or something. I will refrain from violation of any city, state, and federal law, including tribal jurisdiction. I will advise my officer within 48 hours if I am questioning, if I am questioned or arrested by any branch of government or any of his representatives. Okay, as explained by the assistant state attorney, Stacy Ann, uh, whatever, whatever. Um, in this particular case, a citizen went to the district court commissioner and swore to charges against Krishan Malone. The commissioner believed that the incident more likely than not did occur and charges were approved as the case was forwarded to court. The complainant, Victoria Waldip, alleged Krishan Malone attacked her That's on August correct. 13th of 2023 in Fort Washington, Maryland. She alleged that she was sucker punched and treated and threatened by Malone, who was eight months pregnant at the time of the attack. Krishan never put her hands on Wall Vicky. Now, what I am saying is there are some things where people lied or did some things, but there's things that she did as well. Okay. There were some things that she did as well. Subsequently, charges were filed in Prince George County, Maryland, assault in the second degree, according to Prince George, Maryland's court clerk office an outstanding warrant remains active for Malone. Now, remember that is when the warrant was issued, but the warrant has since been quashed. The case is dismissed. So um, from July of 2023 to September of 2023 through, through, through her reported attorney, Malone sought to regain supervision compliance. It should be noted that it, that his, that it, that what? It should be noted that it is highly, I guess that it is highly probable that an individual by the name of Al, Al Ravi intentionally misidentified himself as her attorney, wanting to help Malone. Throughout this time, attempts to help Miss Malone, Miss Malone regain compliance in the state of California was conducted with directives to report. Because Malone was significantly pregnant, Malone and her attorney were highly concerned about traveling or being taken into custody. However, a warrant withdrawal could not be approved without the approval of the state of California, who was initially interested in withdrawing their interest once documents related to our hardships were received. However, she failed to provide the requested documents and she remained a fugitive. Right. She she just act like she wasn't cooperating with the with the courts. That's what got her jammed up. She's not cooperating. It's like you're disrespecting the courts. Like I don't care what you're saying. I, I'll do it on my own. This time, is why I told y'all. Or not on my, or, or do it on my own. Good or don't do test. it at all. This is why I told y'all. Y'all gonna get upset. This is why I said y'all probably gonna get upset as I'm reading these documents because at the end of the day, baby, there's a lot of stuff in here where you looking back like girl, girl, girl. What is Katie? Sometimes you can't Hold defend off. somebody that ain't doing Hold right. Hold off. Leave it there. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. What is just messy all the way around? Hey, whatever. I want to understand. Good morning. Good morning. That's why I'm asking. Dion says whatever. Yeah. Got to tell them what they need to hear, not what they want to hear sometimes. Yeah, she just she she flat out just was not taking Absolutely. care of Absolutely, a lot of this obligation. stuff could have been avoided. Now let yep. me let me be very clear here, for anybody who was getting in their feelings, uh, with everything with the case, she could have been taken care of. Okay, thank you, Katie, for clarifying that. I appreciate you clarifying. I'm gonna say this, all right, because I don't want anybody 
getting this misconstrued or taking this out of context. Okay. These are the facts of the case. This yeah, is what has happened. Okay. Star. This is in no way to bash, slander, tear down, or any of that. But people are wondering what is going on. A lot of times people don't have time to sit down and read these documents or go through these cases. Some people don't know how to pull information and get the information either. So I am bringing the information for everyone to have a full scope of what is going on, how this got here, where, where, what is going on. That's what this is all about. Okay. I'm not going to come up here and give you fluff and delusion. I'm giving you the real. These are the things that really happen that are documented. And like I said, some of these things, yeah, I'm side eyeing other people who had hands in this. Okay. Just like prime example, well, Vicky filed this lawsuit and said, Krishan struck her. Krishan did not sneak her, hit her. She didn't do none of that. But yet you filed a suit on her and said that that's what she did. And I'm going to tell you why I believe this case got dismissed, because they saw the baddies episode. They saw the baddies episode and they saw that she did not touch Wovicki. So this is BS. I'm showing y'all how, yes, stuff was sent to the house and it was sent back. But, but they emailed her. They text messaged her. They got nothing back. So I'm showing y'all all sides of the story. And I'm saying this right now, as much as I ride for Krishan, as much as I stand 10 toes for Krishan, she's got to handle her business. There's no getting around that. So I don't care what anybody has to say. There's no getting around the fact that some of this stuff could have very well been avoided by showing up, by paying fees, by giving information. Okay. This woman has such power and influence. She has so much inside of her, so much potential in her. But just like anybody else, sometimes we get in our own way. That's what I'm trying to think the real mahogany if she changed her address, I mean, changed her phone number. Because I remember at one point in time, she did say that she changed her phone number. Well, she said that a couple of times that she changed her phone number. You know what I'm saying? She does need help. She needs an assistant. She needs somebody to stay on top of this stuff for her. Um, you know, and, and it just, I want to see better for her. I, I want to see her come home and I want to see her handle all of her business. So she has nothing standing in her way at all, stopping her. And I do understand. I do. I do remember it wasn't that long ago that I was in my 20s running around and, you know, doing what I do or what I was doing back then and how there were things that I let fall to the wayside at times. These are lessons. These are somebody's lessons that they have to learn. This is not about a drag. This is not about a, a gag. This is not about none of that. This is about the lessons that she's going to have to learn. And if you are a true supporter of Krishan, then, hey, these are the things that we've got to pay attention to that you, that we got to be able to add her, like maybe do that instead of adding her into the bullshit and the nonsense. How about when, you know, a court case is coming up for her, you at her and remind her you get in her DM and you remind her, right? Positive because there's nobody else there. Criticism. If you're a supporter of her and you love her and you ride down for, her and you rock with her and you do all of that, why not help her along the way? I'm not saying that she's our responsibility, but if you're going to be out here in the comment sections, going to war with people and doing all the and stuff so that gets about done her in business. the name of Krishan, take that time out and do that. 
then get on top of her. Stay on top of this. Hey, Krishan, just sending you a reminder that blah, 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 blah. And if we get cussed out for doing it, you get cussed out for doing it, okay? But at the end of the day, at least she knows. And I really don't see her cursing out people coming in her inbox to remind her. She might be like, okay, y'all are in my inbox and y'all are telling me I have court. I know, I know, I know. But wouldn't you rather her come on live annoyed at the fact that she's getting all of these messages reminding her of court versus seeing her coming on live, cursing people out for whatever, even though she hasn't done that in a minute. But wouldn't that be a lot better for a fan base to remind somebody when you're seeing that they have struggles with this type of stuff? We follow her all over social media. Why can't we flood her? <laughs> Get your butt up and go to court, girl. And I, I'm dead serious because I see people will tag her. They'll see a video of somebody saying some real hurtful, nasty stuff about her. And you'll see down in the comments, at Krishan, this person, or at Krishan, do you see this? At Krishan, at, why are you adding her into that stuff? But you can't add her about her court dates? Come on, we got to make it make sense over here. I get it. You have your own business. I get it. So now I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I'm, I'm talking to the ones that be at war in the comments for her. Let, let's, let's change this and be at war to help her get on the good foot. If we don't flood her, the haters will. They'll flood every courtroom. That's all I'm saying. Because I already know some people going to have some stuff to say about this video. Oh, why is she going up there reading all that out? No, 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 no. And the chopping screws and all of that. No, she's not 10 and she's not a kid. And clearly, I don't know why you're here. Return from whence you came, sir. Thank you. A lot of people don't like to hear certain things. And then, oh, well, we shouldn't have to. We shouldn't have to. We shouldn't have to. You don't have to. But you know what else? You don't have to tag her and send, make her upset or hurt her or make her make her cry. Don't nobody want to see that stuff that's being posted about her son? That's all I'm saying. Hey, I'm going to call y'all back. I'm going to call y'all back as into the chat. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't know where the rest of the mods are. I know that right now this is kind of crazy because we're between two channels, y'all. So please bear with them because it's a matter of going back and forth between the channels to figure out where certain things are coming from that are in the chat. If they're over there on... Um, if they're over there on the circus press box, they're not going to see what's going on on Hennessy Reviews. If they're on Hennessy Reviews, they're not going to see what's going on on circus press box. Therefore, there will be some haters that probably trickle in or people that have some slick things to say. At the end of the day, just ignore them as best you can, and we will get them out of here as quick as we can. If I see it, I'll get them out. But right now, I'm reading court docs, so I really can't be in the chat watching while I'm talking. But um. I'm going to call y'all back is in the house over here. So we good over here. And I think Poppinson is over there on the circus press box. I don't know where goddess is, but we got the mods. The mods are in place and I do have to get more mods, but I have to trust people that are modding. 
okay? Because I done had some crazy stuff happen, but that's another story for another day. Let's continue on with this because there is a whole nother Oklahoma document that we got to get into. And then I got to give you all of the updates that um, I have seen between the DA and the arresting agencies uh, from yesterday. And then we'll check again today. So, excuse me. All right. We talked about how she... Um, she failed to provide the requested documents and she remained a fugitive. All right. Yet during this time, Malone was charged with a new violent offense in the state of Maryland, which was reportedly committed when she was in the midst of her pregnancy. Assault charges have been filed. A warrant remains outstanding for Malone at this time. In addition to this charge, there have been several calls and emails indicating that Malone committed another assault in November of 2023 in Los Angeles, California, an attempt to retrieve a police record or some type of documentation of the assault has been requested but could not be located per California Interstate Compact Unit. Now, I need y'all to remember that because they could not find it. And that is because there wasn't one. You have Oklahoma telling you that there was no records. They couldn't pull a police report. So to me, we'll, we'll, we'll get into it. Just put a pin in that. Put a pin in that. And remember that statement right there. Remember that statement. An attempt to retrieve a police record of some type uh, or some type of documentation of this assault has been requested but could not be located. All right? She is still absconded at this point because her whereabouts still remain unknown. She has not reported her whereabouts to the state of California or the state of Oklahoma. Reporting for supervision remains her responsibility, not her attorneys, nor any supervised authority. She does not appear to understand the significance of following the court orders. No actions, uh, no appear, no, no action appears to be taken to date on the June 2023 violation where she was originally absconded, guys, based upon information compiled, it appears that Malone's behavior is escalating, concerning, and poses a risk to the community. It is still request requested that an application to accelerate filing and warrant be issued and Malone answer for her actions. It is respectfully requested that she remains in Oklahoma until completion of any form of probation and or revoked for a time deemed appropriate by the court. Krishan Malone is obligated to return to Oklahoma to address her noncompliance per the ICAOS federal requirements. Therefore, it is further requested that Malone be ordered to pay restitution in the amount of transportation court costs to be returned to Oklahoma to the appropriate agency. Okay. This is the first, okay. The first document of the violations. You got the original violation right here, which tells you she hasn't been reporting. They didn't have an address. They couldn't get in touch with her. This is where the absconding came into place. Then you scroll down and here we go in, um, November of 2021, you have the Whoa Vicky case being added to it. You got people calling and emailing about the James Wright situation, okay? And this has been talked about in the documents, okay? She's still absconded, though, and she still has not done her 120 hours of community service. So now let's get to here, which is a couple of days later. This is February 28th. That first document was February 23rd. So a couple of days later, we have the original, which says the absconding in there. It's talking about all of the stuff that I just talked about. All right. But then we get down and we keep scrolling and we keep scrolling and we keep scrolling and we keep scrolling and we, scrolling and we get here. Okay. This is when James Wright gets added to the case. Okay. The acceleration. Let me rephrase myself. The acceleration of said case. All right. So I would like to say that I do stand corrected because I said that the Woe Vicky case did not accelerate. It did accelerate. There's two cases that were accelerating this warrant. All right. So now, rule nine, I will refrain from violation. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Victim is a singer and entertainer with a large following on social media. Suspect is a rapper, reality personality, and entertainer with an Instagram social media following of 5.54 million people. Suspect is referred to by her stage name as Krishan Rock. All right. 
this, we've already read these reports. If you want me to go through these reports again, I will do a separate video to read through all of the reports. But I am telling you right now, if you have not read these victim statements, please go back and watch. I believe it was the first video that I did when Krishan got arrested and I read all of this. And you will see for yourself that from one document to the next document, the statements change. The story changes. They can't tell you how many times James was allegedly struck and all of that, okay? Because it changes from document to document. Now, this right here is saying that the date of the report was 11-20-2023. The original date is 11-11-2023, but they were unable to pull this document, but they were able to pull it. It seems like a couple of days later, there was a police report that was made, okay? In this Oklahoma case right here, Jesus, I'm still hoping and praying that they don't come and get her and she's able to handle all of this in California. But in this Oklahoma case, she has been accused of absconding. She has not done her 120 hours in community service. Um, she hasn't been reporting what she needs to report. Uh, the Woe Vicky case came into play. The James Wright case has come into play. And it's a lot of stuff that has been going on. I am still hoping and praying that she is able to handle all of this in LA and that they don't come and extradite her. But I'm going to say this. If she does get extradited, you guys, you cannot, you cannot be surprised by anything. Let me just go to the press box real quick and see what's going on on the press box. Okay, I don't see very much going on in the way of the press box. All right. Um, the girl, Henny. All right, it's not really separating them, so I don't even know why they give you that option where I could see. But <sighs> this is one of those things where it, could possibly be a blessing in disguise because she needs to handle her business. She needs to handle her business. There's been a lot that has happened in this case. And while there's been a lot of life circumstances and changes that have happened, she needs an elder to sit her down. She needs an elder. She needs somebody who has experience with this, even if it's not some type of legal team that she gets. She needs somebody who has some experience with this to sit her down and explain things. Um, it seems like she doesn't really understand the consequences of some of these actions. And there's a lot of people that don't understand when it comes down to the law. They think that they can, because, you know, they. I don't know how to word it. You know, I'm just going to say it. There's a lot of people that have to fuck around and find out. Um, yes, Olivia. Oh, I didn't read that part. Thank you for reminding me. Or did I read that part? Henny glasses in the chat. If I read the part where it says that they want her to stay in Oklahoma. Cause I don't, I don't think I read that part. They are requesting that she stay in Oklahoma. Oh, I did read a part of that where they, they want her to stay in Oklahoma for the duration of her probation period. Um, and she can't leave without their permission. I had been heard about that. And I'm going to be so honest with you. Sometimes you have they to be want her to stay in Oklahoma forcefully. God himself and will remove you from the very thing that he's trying to tear apart from you to get your attention. When God feels like he needs to get your attention, baby, he going to get your attention one way or the other. Yep. One way or the other. Yep. Okay. Um, let's read this. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. It is requested that an application to accelerate, Krishan is obligated in not compliance, so that therefore it is further requested that loan pay restitution. Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, warrant remains outstanding. I'm trying to find where they have said this. They have said that they want her 
based upon information of this report and application to accelerate. Because of a failure to report immediate sanctions. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Um, it is respectfully requested. I'm right here. It is respectfully requested that she remain in Oklahoma until completion of any form of probation, probation and or revoked for a time deemed appropriate by the court. My only thing with that is that might just happen, I know guys. that in the episode of Crazy in Love, um, let me let me put that up on the screen for y'all so y'all can see that for that yourselves. That might just happen. And I'm going to show y'all where it's at. It, it's right here. It's right here. I don't know if y'all can see my cursor or not, but where it says based. But in all fairness, I'm believing if they do make her stay in Oklahoma, she might not have to go do no prison time. You, you understand? She just the, it's going to be a harsh uh, stipulation because she's going to have to be in the state she doesn't want to be in. She's not going to be able to leave that state until the probation's over with. And that's not until a few years from now. I know she's not going to like that. But this is the time when we'll see Blueface's true colors because whenever he gets done with his legal ob obligations, let's hope that he is willing to move out there with her if she does have to do the rest of her probation time in the state of Oklahoma. They do that in some states when they see that you're not in compliance and they don't want to really lock you up and you do have circumstances that are valid as well. She's a young mother with a, a young child and she's the only one uh, that can take care of them. She can't trust anybody else. They try to still work with you, but because they don't trust that you're going to um, fulfill your legal obligations, they end up making you stay in that state. Based upon information compiled in this report, right there is where it says this. I can't highlight it, but this is where it says that. They want her to remain in Oklahoma. Right. Based off of Crazy in Love, when she went to Oklahoma, she does have a former family there. Um, man, this this is, you know, I'm I'm really praying. I'm praying that all of this works out for her. I know it'll work out for her in her good. Um, I'm not shaky or scared for her. It's just a matter of all of this change. All of this change. I got who in line? Who, Selena? She has a child in Cali. They will, so they will let her leave. Um, she would have to get a house, move, and find other unemployment. I don't think that she would have to find other employment right, she's on because social she's media. an entertainer, right? She's on social media, so she wouldn't have to do that she at all. She could turn that into a whole reality, a reality show. The type of work she does, she can do it anywhere. As long as she, can, she can log into the show. Okay, connection. Rock. And document. She could turn it into some vlogging content. And come on over to YouTube and start running her YouTube numbers up for herself. You know? Michael, she does not have to get permission from anybody to leave to go to Oklahoma. Her job. She works for herself. There's no one she, she answers to. Just like Hennessy Review and myself. We don't have to um, ask permission. We want to take a month off or we want to go to another state and do commentary on uh, on our platform from China. We work for ourselves. We pay taxes at the end of the year. Now you can get taxes requested to be taken out of each uh, monthly check. YouTube can do that for you so you don't have to worry about that. But no, at the end of the year, we get our, our tax forms and we file our taxes on what we owe the state in taxes. Same thing with Krishan Rock. She's a social media um, entity. She makes her money off of social media. That's how we make our money, off of social media. She doesn't have to have, get permission from anybody. She doesn't have her boss. She's her, her own boss. She's the boss. She's the boss of, of her the money she makes, how much she makes, when she wants to do it, and wherever she wants to do it. You know what I'm saying? Just document her day-to-day -day of what's going on. Get her a good editor 
send that out to the editor, have them edit it and send it back. No, that is all social media. Even Exactly. Uh, she said she wasn't staying at that house. That's all still social media. She makes her money online from television. We watch it through the television screen, our laptops, and our cell phones. That's social media. Concerts, people record. You understand what I'm trying to say? It's all social media. That's all that that falls under social media. That's how she makes her money through social media. <laughs> I don't know. You'll get it eventually. Miss Poppington has press box good. <laughs> she doesn't have a boss. Listen, listen. Um, she said she wasn't keeping that house, so she does have to get another house. Um, I believe Junior would be with her. If she had to stay in Oklahoma, I seriously doubt oh, Krishana's yeah, going to leave Junior gonna definitely, um, in she, Los she, Angeles. She's going to have Marsh okay. travel there. And, and maybe, maybe, maybe <clears throat> this will show her that she could still do whatever she needs to do and wants to do outside of L.A. Let's be real and let's talk about this situation before we get into No matter of fact, let's put a pin in that. Let's, let's go to the most recent uh, information when it comes down to what is going on with Oklahoma. Okay. Let's, let's go there first before we, we get into stories and, and not even stories, but we get into um, the other portion of this that I would like to speak on. All right. Let's get into this. All right. We're going to, Ooh, y'all. Ooh, y'all, watch your back. Okay, wait a minute. I need an intermission real quick. So I got to put some music on for y'all because I got to step away for a second. Y'all don't need to be in my business. And they are in and out of these files. Let me explain this. When they are in and out of these files, they are basically communicating. All right. So we're going to come here because I can show you. All right. So again, y'all see this, this is the arresting agency and they were in the file at 922 AM yesterday. You see that the DA was in the file at 920 yesterday. You see that. Let me go. Cause I know there's another one prior to that. All right. You see that the DA was in the file again. Wait a minute. Can y'all see that? The DA was in this file at 10. And I, I'm sure y'all didn't see it. Did y'all see the time? Let me go back. Let me go back so y'all can see the time. So I can ensure that y'all are seeing these times in real time. All right. So this is the DA. Aaron is the DA. And right here, y'all can see 920 a.m. Um, Oklahoma time. She was in this file. OK, now you see OHP. That is the arresting agency. And you see they were in this case file yesterday. OK, there's the date 617 2024. Oh, wait a minute. It's this one. Okay, they were in the file at 922. So two minutes after she was in the file, they were in the file. Okay, now let's go over here to this 1059. And this is who? The DA was in the file at 1059 a.m. All right, now you have the arresting agency. This is the OHP again. All right, you see them? Yeah, it hasn't been no change. Hold on, then, hold though. on, hold on. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. I have the district attorney in the file again. And this time she's in there at 11.25 a.m. This is every hour they were in this caseload, okay? Mm. They were in that caseload, all right? And here we have the arresting agency again. 
in this file at 11.25. Then we have the district attorney was in the file again yesterday at 12.55 p.m. And then the arresting agency in the file at 12.56. And I'm showing y'all this is the arresting agency, all right? Now, as of today, as of today, let's refresh. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I got to wait for that to verify. All right. As of today, there has been. Michael, her doing concerts, concerts are social media. Uh, it falls under social media. Okay. She's a social media influencer. Okay. It's, it, it falls underneath social media. So I don't know why you're making them su two separate things. They're really looked at as the same. She makes money online. <laughs> and no movement from the DA as of 1634 yesterday. Okay. That's 431 yesterday. Okay. Um, the arresting agency, as y'all see right here, Aaron, the district attorney, for those of y'all who are new, the arresting agency is right here. And the arresting agency has not been in this file since yesterday, 1329. So that's at 1.29 p.m. They made their last entry or update into the file. And then she made her last entry or update into the file yesterday at 4.31 p.m. Okay. So there is still movement that is happening. Um, here's what I do not see. And I said this in the beginning. I do not see where the bench warrant was recalled. It's still there. She still yeah, has her fees right well. here, which we already went over, that these fees are the fees. If it has anything to do with work, oh, uh, most definitely. But she would have to let them know in advance because even on probation, like – the state she's in, you know how she goes to Baltimore and visits her family? She's supposed to be calling her probation officer or the courts or something, letting them know she's going to another state. Because when you're on probation, you're not supposed to even leave the state that you're actively in, that they have you on record where to find you. You're not supposed to leave that state. She's been doing that. She's supposed to let them know, listen, I got to do a job in this state and I'll be back on this date. It's about, you know, making money. I'm a social media influencer and I have to, in order for me to make money and be able to keep up my legal ob obligations as, as far as community service or restitution, I have to work. As long as she let them know, I'm quite sure they would let her leave the state for that and then to return. You know, so. Fees that she owes um, to them. Where is that? Do I have that open today? I do have it open. All right. Let's refresh. Let's refresh. Okay. Okay, you see right here, that is the 97.50. As of today, right now, well, at 11 something in the morning, this is... Uh, the last time that was updated or um, any changes made. And there haven't been any changes made because you still see, here's the grand total of her case. You still see all of this right here is from the 30 days, the OCIS fee and the warrant collection fees are all still there, which totals, as I said yesterday, this totals into that $97 that everybody was asking about, criminal felony proceedings, Craig County, Oklahoma, the state of Oklahoma versus Krishan Malone. This is what y'all see. Now, I also know some people were saying, how is this a felony when it's for marijuana? Well, in the state of Oklahoma, anything under 25 pounds is considered a felony. Okay. Oklahoma does allow for medicinal Mary Jane, but they do not allow for recreational. Okay. So 
recreational is what this would have been considered for them. So yes, anything under 25 pounds is considered a felony and it holds different um, consequences. Let me see if I can pull that up for you all. And they also do have a stipulation for anything that is between 25 pounds and a uh, thousand pounds as well. Let's see if I can get to that real quick. Yes, as long as she has permission to the courts and the probation. I should give y'all some hold music for and real when I'm digging and looking back, for stuff. She's good. Um, but if she goes and doesn't tell uh, them and they uh, find uh, out, uh, she's in trouble. I think I need um a keyboard too. Oh, whatever. I spelled that. Y'all know what I meant. Free Krishan. Hopefully she gets out tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow's the twentieth, so let's let's pray. But I think she might have to be uh, heading her way to Oklahoma. I don't know. All right. We'll see tomorrow. I'll be up bright and early, seven p.m. I mean, seven a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we'll be on it. We'll be on it. Waiting for the uh, the countdown. I forgot. I'm not sharing the screen. Um, I could actually close. I don't know if I want to close those windows out because, you know, sometimes people be coming in here trying to act funny and I got to pull something up real quick. But we're about to wind it down because I've given all the information that I'm going to give for the day. Um, all right. So this is coming from OklahomaStateCannabis.org. All right. And we're going to go through this in Oklahoma. Any amount of weed possession is illegal unless for medical use for parties and caregivers registered, okay, with OMMA as per Oklahoma Uniform Control Substance Act. Cannabis is classified as a Schedule One substance, therefore marijuana possession without a prescription is illegal. Uh, the severity of an offender's punishment increases with respect to the amounts of weed found and the location and the type of marijuana found. Individuals who possess above eight pounds of marijuana in public or private have committed a Class C felony. Those caught, caught may face up to five years in jail and a $125,000 fine. Carrying marijuana within 1,000 feet of a park, school, university, or in front of a child below the age of 12 is a felony. Yes, the yes, offender pen hit. penalty is doubled um, of fines and termination and term of imprisonment. Her release time. An is offender midnight, must serve midnight, at least yes. half of it the received jail time. Okay, okay, that's good. Um, selling less than 25 pounds of marijuana is a felony punishable to $20,000 fine and incarceration of two years. Selling between 25 to 1,000 pounds of marijuana is a felony punishable by a fine, a fine ranging from 25K to 100K and four years of jail time. Um, selling 1,000 pounds or more of weed is a fel felony punishable by a fine of 5K maximum and four years to life in prison. Can you imagine? Yeah, they don't play Could you out imagine there. getting That's caught with a 1,000.1 a, a pounds of marijuana and you could possibly face life in jail in Oklahoma. Selling weed to minors is a felony punishable by doubling the fines and incarceration period. Cultivating as many as a thousand plants of weed is a felony punishable by a 20 to life imprisonment. That's crazy. And a fine of 25k and a fine, not or and and and. Right. Okay. Also, all of these say end. Oh, fine. They want money. All right. Um, a landlord that cultivates a landowner, excuse me, that cultivates marijuana Illegally. without licensing has committed a felony 
punishable by a fine of 50k and imprisonment between two they ain't years playing. and life. They're not playing. I heard they ain't playing out there in Oklahoma. They'll rock you to sleep. And I need y'all to remember that word. And. And. <laughs> and in Oklahoma. And also can be and. <laughs> That's scary. That, that word and starts to become scary when you hear it talked about that, that way. And Christian Rock got to yes, get it together. And, <laughs> mm. and you going to jail and you paying right. a fine. You paying and a fine never and out. you going to jail. Right. Not and or. It's both. Right. I don't know. Go to jail for life for weed? No. It's crazy. It's crazy. Exactly, Katina. It's all about money. That's why yep. I said, hopefully she can get before this judge, right? And because they had that dollar bail there, that dollar bail, remember I was saying that usually means that they running something concurrent. Hopefully she can go to, go to Oklahoma, stand before the judge, be reinstated after she paid him the money that she owed him. And they'll leave her alone. Hopefully. But the money that she owe him owe them is not going to be that ninety seven fifty, because if they get extradite her, she's got to pay for the extradition. Krishan might have to take a work. But I'm really just hoping and praying that they just be like, all right, this girl done served she her is. time. We're done with it. Oh my god! Forward payment and Buttercup. She does have a work from home job. She's doing exactly what I'm doing. I mean, she's locked up now, but when she's out, she's at her house. She's made even with even minusing the concerts that she she does or you know the well popping bottles that's kind of a fun thing if you can control not drinking you know because you know when you're drinking you're out of control but she she walks out with a bag but what I'm saying is her job is really online she don't she could do that anywhere around the uh, the country the continent third world country she's not gonna have to get no other job not at all. She can get right back up on uh, 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 what is it, Snapchat. Um, if she's consistent back on Instagram, she'll be having people wanting her um, for her to promote their products. You know what I'm saying? And she can get money that way as well. She just got to be consistent and stop letting Blueface hold her back and, and, and make her feel like she's doing time with him. She got to handle her business. She said, I mean, like, as in telemarketing or calls. No, come on. She's a millionaire. Come on now. She might not have no 10, 20, 30, 40 million, but she's got a couple of million now. She does work from home. That's what I'm saying. That's all she do is post content and pictures and make nice money from snaps. Right. That's That is her job. She don't need to get no telemarketing job. She don't need to get no average job. That's how she became a millionaire. The sitting online. That's where her job's at online. Of Oklahoma fees can't be more than ten thousand, right? I don't know how much it is. I didn't never looked it up, but all I know is that I think that she's gonna end up having to go to Oklahoma. We done. Like that, I'm just really not, I'm not hoping for the worst, but I'm telling y'all everything that was in the case to clear up any misconceptions, rumors, or false allegations that are out there about what her charges really were, what this case was all about, how many cases does she have, how many warrants does she have. There's only two warrants, people, two. Don't believe the hype. It's only two. Baltimore and Oklahoma. And one of them is a misdemeanor. I have never heard of anybody being extradited for a misdemeanor warrant. Baltimore and Oklahoma is all that's left. And she had one in California. She had three of them all together. Somebody kept saying it was the Nevada so it's, one. It's I could really never find like, it. Every time even this she's case on with social James. media, like that's this her case income. Is done. She exactly, got a year probation. And her you job know what? Is if online. she has to go to Oklahoma, that would be good as well. Because can't nobody F with her. In Oklahoma like that. Nope. She's not She's surrounded by us. And that's yep. what I wanted to say about it possibly being a good thing for her to get out of L.A. and start expanding her wings. Because at the end of the day, yes, this is a race, a red state. Yes, it's very racist. Miss Ann, you are absolutely correct. It is. But if she. Yes, yeah, so I want you guys to go over and. um. 
you know, uh, represent uh, Hennessy. She does some excellent work. Um, I will definitely be putting up a premiere video today at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then I will also have one going up, I think, at 7 o'clock because I'm not going to do a live. I'm going to do a live premiere. I'm not going to go live tonight. And then 7 a.m. tomorrow. So, so there's three lives that I'm talking about, three uh, pieces of content that are going to go out over today and tomorrow. So, again, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there'll be, there'll be a, a premiere video going out. So make sure you come back to the channel at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And around 7, um, a premiere video will go out like I did last night. It was after 7, though, but I put out a late premiere. And then I'll have set up a live stream for 7.30 a.m. so we can get ourselves ready for this big day. Let's all pray that, uh, and I don't mean pray on Krishan Rock. I mean pray for Krishan Rock um, to be reunited back with Junior because she needs to be with her son. Hopefully they'll do a Zoom, Oklahoma will, with her, uh, like a court Zoom, and they can go over what her stipulations are. Now, if they got other plans for her, like her doing a sentence, then she might have to go into Oklahoma. I don't know. She's been playing in them court's faces for some time in Oklahoma in particular that I'm, I'm referring to, and they might not give her that option because, you know, they've been they've been, they've been been um, letting her get away with what she's getting away with this far, and, I, and now the ball's in their court. That's how they look at it. We got you where we want you. You're in custody. We're gonna have our way with you. They could they could be like that with her because she wasn't respecting the courts. We don't know what's gonna happen. Now, the worst case scenario for me, if uh Sh Sh Shakira had said that she won't be released if Oklahoma doesn't pick her up until 12 midnight, that's fine because I'll probably be up around nine, I mean around 3 a.m. in the morning, and I'll just go live. I also will be getting notifications anyways when they release her from the facility. And I probably, if I get the notification, if, you know, the phone rings and I pick it up and I answer it, I'll probably go live because the phone's going to wake me up if I pick it up. And then I'll just announce that she has been released or she's being transported to Oklahoma. That will be the a big announcement, uh, maybe sometime 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, my time, and it'll be 12 p.m. California time. It says happy Juneteenth Day. Embrace today. They made it in National Hall. Yes, they did. I says, okay, there's no place for Krishan. She won't make it. <laughs> she can't start doing concerts again like Jaden Krishan. Krishan gets paid 20030 for those concerts. Exactly. Let's just hope if they make her stay in Oklahoma, they will at least allow her to travel. Right. She'll be able to travel, trust me. I think that's the only thing she'll be able to do, and they'll be definitely, like, on some, we need to see the paperwork of, like, if you got concert appearances or whatever have you, we want to see when your your um, your um concert dates are, and, and when when is your last concert, so we know when you're going to be heading back to our state. Because if she she um is not in compliance, when they give her permission, oh, they'll put a warrant on her real quick. And they probably won't reinstate a, a probation. She'll be doing some time. So I don't think she'll um drop the ball this time around. Hopefully, she, I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt, give her credit. But listen, y'all have a blessed day. Make sure y'all hit the like button or the dislike button on the way out. And again, a 5 p.m. premiere will be going out. So Make sure your notification bell is on with the option all. But if you don't get the notification around 5 p.m., just come over to the channel and go check out the, the premiere because I know a lot of y'all did not see. Thank you so much, um, Drip Advisory. I know a lot of y'all um, didn't see early morning's um, commentary live that I did because you were sleeping. So I'm going to premiere it today at 5 p.m. Love y'all. Stay blessed. I'm out. Mwah.